My name is Nicolas Charbonnier. I'm uh, 29 years old and I'm living in uh, Antibes, south of France. Is Antibes a good place to sell the 470? Ah, yeah, it's quite uh, light wind, but it's, uh, I like this place. I'm not selling enough in Antibes. <laughs> And how long have you been selling the 470? Because it seems like you've been doing it for a very long time. Uh, I started selling 470 in 2000, so just the last year of the 2000 campaign. Yeah, and you just got a medal in Beijing, yes? Yeah, we got a bronze medal in Beijing, so it was a good uh, achievement in our career. Yeah. So how do you, I mean obviously you've, you've got a podium at the Olympics already, how do, what do you do to improve your campaign now? Ah, but uh, you know when you get a bronze medal, you just uh, yeah, you just want to keep going to know if you can uh, get a better uh, color, and uh, it's what put me back on the 470 for this campaign because I wanted to be sure uh, I was not able to do better than bronze medal, so I'm now back in the 470 and it's really good. Mm. Have you made any changes to your campaign this time? Yeah, I uh, changed uh, two times of crew already, <laughs> this campaign. So who, who I you? was sitting with yeah. uh, Baptiste Meyer, mm -hmm. which was uh, my uh, ex-coach. We were sitting together for two years, but uh, Baptiste got a disc injury in his back. So we had to stop and I'm now sitting with uh, Jeremy Mion, which is... Uh, which was um, 2010 and 2009 uh, youth uh, world champion in 470. So it's a really good crew. Yeah, so you got a young crew, basically. Yeah, I get a 21 years uh, old crew. So it's a bit different because Baptiste was uh, 36. So it's really good because he, he wants to do a lot and uh, he's always trying to do better. And it's, it's, he, he's a really nice boy. Yeah, youth and energy and all those sort of things. Yeah, he get uh, much more energy than me, so he, sometimes he's pushing me to, to do better. Yeah. And what about coaching? Have you got a new coach or is that the same? Um, no, we, since the beginning of the campaign, we are, the Federation uh, have named two new coaches, one for the girls, one for the boys. So we keep going with uh, Nicolas Lebert, which is uh, coaching us uh, since uh, two years now. Mm. So we are doing a good job and I hope we will continue like this. Mm. And you have some quite serious competition, don't you? Yeah, the, the second uh, French is a really good team. He's a top five uh, team. Where, where are you in the rankings at the moment? Uh, here in Palma, for the moment, before the last day of uh, final. We, we are leading and the, the other French is uh, second. So. Yeah, but sorry, in the ISAF rankings overall. Ah, so, I, um, yeah. I have no idea. All oh, right, okay. No, but you, you're number one or number two at the moment in France? Uh, yeah. You're yeah. number one? Uh, in the, in the, maybe number two because uh, yeah. we didn't went to Miami this year. So yeah, okay. we lost uh, many points. But. Yeah. And yeah. obviously the four, you've done a lot of, uh, I mean, you've done America's Cup sailing and, mm -hmm. and what, what, what other sailing do you do outside of the 470? Uh, last year I was sailing on um, Switzerland on a Decision 35. It's a catamaran. It was a really exciting boat, it was really fast. And it um, was a bit different because the uh, races are not as uh, close as in 470, but it's good for to have fun and it's good for money so <laughs> it's, uh, yeah it's different but uh, sometimes sure. it's good to do it yeah and the people say that the 470 is a very good class to sort of give you an absolute grounding a good overall training in, in sailing is that true yeah yeah i totally agree the level uh, in the 470 class is the highest uh, i compete in so it's really hard every race you have to fight against uh, 20 other teams that uh, all the mark running are really really close and uh, you never you can never say okay we we had a big big uh, lead or but it's always a tough race so it's really exciting and really difficult but mm. I like it. But what, what is it about the boat that makes it that way? I have no idea. The, I think the boat speed is um, there is not much different in boat speed between uh, leaders and uh, number 10 or 20. So it makes the race really, really close and um, 
every time you have to if you want to to win a race you have to to make the perfect uh, track so it's never possible it's really hard so um, we are always fighting with uh, some other team and it's always busy uh, on racing uh, with them mm. but it's a good training ground for, for moving up into bigger boats yeah 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 because i think in 470 we are um, always trying to be uh, perfect and um, when we start sitting on bigger boats it's uh, you know there is more space between boats more boat speed difference and it makes the uh, game much much easier than sailing for seven because mm, in the big boat well there are a lot of accomplished 470 sailors i mean when you did the america's yeah, cup yeah, yeah. there were a lot of them there aren't there yeah mm. but i think uh, it's a really good uh, sailing school for 70 so i hope i will be able to continue uh, for a long time yeah how, how do you fund your campaign? I mean, do you get to, do you get a lot of support from the you know, the French Federation? Yeah, we we have a lot of support from the French uh, Sailing Federation, mm. and um, uh, we I have Veolia uh, Propreté and uh, Banque Populaire, which are really good sponsors for me. So it uh, makes the uh, the thing uh, possible. Otherwise, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it's cost a lot because we have to always get really good uh, equi equipment to be able to compete with the best team in the world, and we are traveling a lot around the world, so it makes the campaign quite expensive. But at the end, with uh, the support of the federation and uh, our personal sponsor, it's it's possible. Yeah. So what do you think of the 470s? What's the 470s future in the Olympics? Ah, we'll see in. Uh, one, one or two months, I don't remember. Mm. Um, I, I really hope the 470 will uh, stay uh, an Olympic classes because it's um, you know it's one of the only boats where small size uh, people can uh, sail in. If you look at the 49er, Fin, Laser, or Star, you all all, all this class uh, you have to be really heavy or really tall. And for 70, it's you. It's really good for light crew and light skipper. So it's the only only class where you can sail in uh, Olympic. Uh, so if for 70 uh, is off from the Olympic, it will be a big shame for all the Asian people and people like me that are not really heavy. And so <laughs> it will be a shame for us. Yeah, yeah for sure. Nicola, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Anna. Bye.